morning. I'm here with South Bay Live. I'm Kathleen Terry, and I'm with my really great friend and one of the best uh, resources in the community, and that is Patricia Jones, who is the founder of a phenomenal organization called P.S. I Love You Foundation. So we're going to talk to Patricia today because not only are we going to learn about her event, but also because she has got an amazing event that's coming up in September that we want everybody to know about called Day at the Beach. So I'd like to welcome you, Patricia, today. Thank you so much, Kathleen. I'm really happy to be here today. So Good, good. Thank and we you. have a little group here uh, joining us. So thank you all of you in the audience who have chosen to be with us this morning. Glad to have you with us. So Patricia, maybe as a starter, you could share with the people, what is P.S. I Love You, right? And then a little bit about how did you arrive at that name? You we always think of the assigning our cards, P.S. I love you. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the organization and, and why the name. Well, um, P.S. I love you is truly a grassroots nonprofit organization. It's a 501c3. And we are completely dedicated to developing and implementing effective social emotional learning programs. Okay, okay, so these are programs that we write and we teach during class time in Title I at-risk schools across L.A. County. And the wow. whole goal of these programs is to develop um, life skills that will help youth become confident, compassionate civic leaders that know how to manage their emotions and create their own happiness and strive to be the best people they can be. And isn't that what we all want? We want to be able to have our youth grow up and be happy and confident. And if we can do that, it's going to help them be less stressed, do better in school, make better friends, um, become better employees, better parents, and um, understand how to treat themselves respectfully and have self-acceptance, not only to themselves, but other people and the world around them. Wow, wow. Now, that is amazing because social-emotional learning is something that we as adults also yes. <laughs> could really benefit by some training. So how did you came up with the name? It's a very, very it's, unique name. Um, I'm going to date myself. Okay, so I know all of you may not remember, but back in my day for lunch, we would go to school with a little brown paper bag, right? And my mom used to write, P.S. I heart you, P period, S period, I, with a heart and a U on my lunch bag. And no matter what was going on in our household, which there was a lot of stuff going on, I always felt grounded and loved, regardless of the chaos, Right. And so as I moved forward in my life, I realized that that was a grounding point, that feeling of love and stability that it created in my life because I had somebody that cared about me. So when it came to the time where I wanted to give back to the world, right? Um, my mother was this huge influence on the name of the organization. And it's really funny because over the course of 23 years, so the foundation was founded in 1998. A lot of people said you need to change the name of the foundation of P.S. I Love You because nobody's going to take you seriously. Wow. Now you fast forward 23 years later and everything is about love. Um, love is what changes things. Love is really all there is. And it's a very uncomfortable subject. People want to talk about love. Young men, even young ladies, love is not a topic we talk about amongst each other or in school or really around the family dinner table. So we have those topics that we teach during class time. Wonderful, wonderful. So were you able to share with your mother that she was the kind of the initiator of your name? Yeah. Yeah. So my mother was the initiator and um, when she passed away probably about, I don't know, 12 years ago, uh -huh. it really creates this legacy um, that we know how to give back and be able to share the spirit of giving through love and social emotional health. Right. And you know, when you were talking about that, I thought how those little things that parents can do with their children, just writing that on the lunch bag, 
impact a kid long after and then end up creating this phenomenal organization as kind of the, the in, impetus of all right. of this. It's just, that's just such a wonderful story. And it, it is a wonderful story and it becomes one of my teaching points in a classroom. So if I was in a classroom and your, your child was in my sixth or seventh or eighth grade class, what they would learn um, in the class is that you have the power to impact not only yourself and your life, but each other. And that is through acts of kindness, words, looks, um, opening doors, saying please and thank you, um, sharing your gratitude, saying that I'm thankful for you and doing that with your brothers, your sisters, your teachers, your classmates. It changes who you are, how you present yourself in the world and how you feel. So when a child is lonely, they're taught that if they, whose responsibility is it when you're lonely? Is it your parents? No. But if you can change your loneliness and understand that you can go out and reach out and say hello or bring people into your lives and create your own friendships, you have the power to change who you are and what you bring to the world. Right. So my mom did that for me. She helped myself and my sisters understand that we had the power to create love, to create peace create stability even though there wasn't that in our life right and so that was and really just exciting. those little behaviors thank you you know opening doors for people yeah. amazing so i'd like to, to talk a little bit about this event day at the beach and uh you know we live in manhattan beach and all of us go to the beach and uh when i got involved with this many years ago it amazed me how many kids have never been to the beach. They live very close to the beach, but never went to the beach. So this event is coming up. I think it's September 18th, right? right? Yeah. So would you tell me a little bit about what is Day at the Beach, you know, and, and kind of a little bit of the logistics about it? Okay. So um, Day at the Beach, this is going to be our 20th annual Day at the Beach event. And it started 20 years ago. Um, when I met this family and they've never been to the beach. And so I brought them to the beach and um, they were part of the system for the department of child and family services. And so we brought these at risk youth, 10 of them to the beach and they had the most incredible day. And the next year we brought 20, the next year we brought 50, the next year we brought a hundred. And right now we're at capacity where we bring 300 at risk youth from different partners and schools and nonprofits, and they come to the beach in buses and in groups, and they get united with 300 mentors that are caring like me and you. So mentors sign up, and you get randomly matched with a child that day, and you basically walk around with them for the day in our village, and um, you give them love tender loving care, healthy activities. They learn how to build friendships, trust, inclusion, and it really gives them a stepping stone in our community to understand that even though there's somebody like you who they may not know, may look different than them, may come from a different economic or demographic background, that they can trust you and you can create a relationship. And so it builds um, hope and the ability for them to seek outside of where they're growing up to be able to create relationships with people. So the Day at the Beach is a community event that brings together Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, um, National Charity League, Amigos Unidos. Um, the Sandpipers come and register all the kids. And then local corporations come and support it by giving donations and sponsorships. And so it's really um, united the community and the students and the adults and parents and corporations and employees all look forward to getting together and sharing the one day. It's nine to three, so it's not a big day. Right. And um, we need help from the community, like you guys, to come and set up. We set up the night before uh, from nine in the morning on Friday, the 6th, 17th to five o'clock. And then we show up at 730 in the morning on Saturday. And the kids show up from 9 to 3. And then we all leave at 3 o'clock. And so it's really a, an exciting, fast-paced, healthy, interactive day for everyone to share. And I believe that you'll agree if you come and do this, and I know you have. Right. 
is that the adults and the youth who come and volunteer that day get just as much out of the day as the kids do. Um, your heart grows a little bit. Um, there's a lot of uh, growth we get in understanding what the child has and what they don't have and how maybe we grew up differently or the same as these kids. And um, it plants the seeds for all the other youth that are joining the day. Okay. Now let me ask you a little bit. Um, so we want mentors. Uh, the mentors, is there an age limit as far as how young they can be? Because I know in, in the past, some people said, well, I have a teenager. Could they be a mentor? So it, what's the age uh, requirements to be a mentor? Age requirements to be in a mentor is um, the age requirement is, well, we say 21. And if you want to come with your child who's younger than that, you can come with them and both yourself and the child can adopt a child. Okay, so we want so somebody can... who's an adult, but they could bring their teenage Absolutely. son or daughter with them. So we need mentors, okay? So uh, mentors, that's one thing. But we also need sponsors because events like this not only cost money to put on, but they also, uh, the, the extra monies are going to go to to talk to the actual uh, programs that PSI Love You does. But wh what I'd like to kind of help people understand is kind of imagining, envisioning this day, right? So they're going to arrive at the beach around 7.30, you said, right? And then they'll be checked in, right? And then they'll be paired randomly with a child. And then once I get my child, then what do I do with them? That's a good question. So you don't have to worry about... Um having anything planned for the child. Just come with um, comfortable clothes that you can go in the water with because the kids are definitely going to want to go in the water and a beach blanket and sunblock. And we'll provide everything else. When you get there, you're going to get registered to um, a youth group and you're going to get a wristband with a, a color that associates you with that youth group. And that's where you're going to match up and get united with the youth. Maybe they're coming from Richstone Family Center or Good Shepherd Shelter or um, World Fit for Kids. So you're going to get matched up with the youth and you're going to have t-shirts on PS I Love You t-shirts. And as soon as you get matched up with your youth and you say hello, um, yesterday we just got the okay that um, uh, Angels Baseball is sending us 300 rally monkeys. So you're going to have a rally monkey, you know, with the little hands. Uh, yeah, there, yeah. And you're going to put that around their neck immediately. And there's going to be a little laugh there because the kid's going to be uncomfortable and you might be too kind of breaks the ice a little bit and then you take your child into a tent and they get to pick out a boogie board and a towel and a kite and then you have a bag of gifts with a pail and a shovel that you give your child and you go sit on your blanket and you go through some questions how are you how old are you what's your family and you make that talk where you connect with your child and then you just go to the, at the beach, there's going to be professional surf lessons that the child can go do. There's face painting and T-shirt cutting and tattoos and a makeup booth and game tosses and a baseball tent. So it's kind of like a circus um, for the kids for the day, and it gives you the opportunity to understand who you are and how you can help them have a really good time and maybe forget about their life for a minute and make a strong relationship with somebody um, giving them some compassionate and empathy and sharing who you are. And if you have your child with you, they can create this connection and a little bit of love and being able to let them know why they're so great and why they're powerful and um, give them the, the encouragement to go out in the world and become the best they can be and not be so afraid. Yeah. Now, one of the so. things I remember, because I've participated in this, is not only are these activities available, so you don't have to plan anything. You just have to come with an open heart. But there's food also. Uh, as I remember, there was some kind of a lunch that was brought in, pizza, as I recall. And then afternoon, I think they had some snacks. So you're not even going to have to worry about food during the day or water or any of that. And I, I guarantee you... Um, all you have to do is be present. So these are the kind of the job of the mentors. I know that some of you might be wondering about how they're going to deal with some of the COVID protocols and all. So could you share a little bit about what's going to happen regarding that yeah. so people can feel more comfortable? You know, it, it's it's been a tough road. We usually have this event every July, and 
we pushed back to have it in September um, because of the rules with the CDC. So to get our permit, we had to write into the LA Department um, of Disease Control. And you know, we told them that we're not gonna be able to have control of who's coming in, who's vaccinated, who's gonna wear masks. Um, we got our permit because it is outdoors. And so we advise you to come as you feel comfortable being a mentor. Um, you could wear your mask, we're gonna have masks there, we're gonna have sanitation stations. Um, and your child is gonna come, we're, we're not gonna know because of HIPAA rules if they're vaccinated or not. But we will be outdoors um, and it is approved that we can be doing this. And we're gonna take precautions to keep things as safe as possible. Um, Fresh Brothers is our pizza sponsor, so when we're giving out the pizza, we'll have um, our hands gloved um, for the protection of that. So um, we're taking the guidance the best we can through the Department of Beaches and Harbor, through LA County Disease Control, as well as to, through the Superintendent Janice Hahn's office for LA County. So um, we're pretty close working with them to see if there are any changes. But right now, it looks good, and we look safe to move forward. Yeah, so, I think this sounds yeah. like you're doing everything that you can do in this environment. All right, so the uh, the date is September 18th. How do they sign up for this? So you can go directly to our website. So our website is psiloveyoufoundation.org. And you just click on, it says Day at the Beach, click there, and you can register to become a mentor. And you can register um, your anybody you want to come with your wife, your friend, your child, you can register them. It gives you an option also if you choose to sponsor your child for the day, your mentee that you're going to get, that would be really helpful. Um, you know, it's a $45,000 day, so we try to raise as much money as possible to cover that and to also um, help us work with these kids again during the class time for our social emotional learning programs. So what is the cost for me to be a mentor? Uh, $40. $40. dollars so. Okay, so for $40, not only do you get a t-shirt, you get a t-shirt, and believe me, uh, ladies, you'll be cutting yours up to make them look really sharp. And really uh, guys could care less about that. But yeah, and you, uh, get, you get your food. You get um, food. And, pizza, you know, snacks. Yeah. There's water. So there's it's a really inexpensive way of giving back to the community. And I think that if a person didn't want to be a mentor, are there other volunteer opportunities? Yes. So um, if you want to join us and not be a mentor, um, please call me directly at 310-420-4717. And my number is on our website, psilovefoundation.org. Um, there are opportunities that you can come in and you can, you know, give out the ice cream or give out the boogie boards and towels and things like that. We have about 75 other staff that are signed up for that. We also have the youth groups that come in and they actually manage all the activities. Yes. So the Girl Scouts, the Boy Scouts, the Amigos Unidos, National Charity League are our great partners that work in all the activity booths. So if you're a student and you want to get involved in that, please let us know that also. Um, but the most important part is our sponsors like Lexus and Fresh Brothers and Wells Fargo. And our big title sponsor is Textile Fashion Group this year, which are so wonderful. And they're on Rosecrans right in El Segundo. And so we feel really, really proud to be um, working with the sponsors in our community. Um, so there's still opportunities to be a sponsor. So if you can't, as a company, uh, send your employees. In fact, a Rotary, we're going to send uh, have our members come. So if you belong to a nonprofit and you, and you want to have your, your people come as a day of service, uh, this is a great opportunity. So you go to the website, psiloveyoufoundation.org, and that's where you can find out everything you need to know about that. So Patricia, in closing, as we start to stop talking about day at the beach. Is there anything last minute thing you want to say to our group here today about this event? Um, yes. Um, right before COVID um, was happening, I was asked to speak at NAMI, which is National Association of Mental Illness. And um, it really breaks my heart that it's been years since children and adults alike have had the opportunity to connect, human connection changes everything. Um, and you take away human connection and that also changes everything, especially the social, emotional, and mental health of our kids who are supposed to, in middle school and early ages, 
and in college, creating their tribes and connecting with each other and creating strong relationships so they know how to walk their path of life. This is a great day. Um, there are many youth groups that are just waiting to get their kid to connect with people like you. So um, we need you. We need the human connection built. We need to gather as a group and give as much love as possible for that one day so they can have that fortitude and that ability for hope to move forward in the next year, which we may even be masked again. So um, please come. Um, give your energy, your love, your time. Uh, financial donations are, are always appreciated. And um, beyond Day at the Beach, if you choose to become one of our instructors and teach one of our Love for Life programs, that is a social, emotional, mental health program, all we do is we'll, we'll instruct you, we'll teach you how to teach and train you, and it's just one hour a week for 12 weeks. Okay, and, so I'm going yeah. to stop you there because I do want to learn more about uh, PSI Love You, the actual programs you do other than Day at the Beach. But um, let's take a quick break here. Okay. okay. Patricia, we talked a lot about Day at the Beach, yeah. and I sure hope all of you, especially all of you who are here today, sign up for this. I mean, uh, there should be a deadline, right? When should they yes. get in touch with you? Um, we're hoping that everybody makes a decision um, by... September 4th. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 So you don't want to take too much long to figure this out, but to get on their website, take a look, psiloveyoufoundation.org. But I wanted to let them know a little bit about what you do regularly when you're not doing Day at the Beach. And I think you already mentioned that you have some kind of programs in schools. You're dealing with at-risk kids. But I guess I guess I have a question. What are you defining as an at-risk kid? It's a really good question. Um, and at risk now um, is a word that that's changing throughout uh, the nonprofit world. And we're calling it at promise underserved. But for us, that, that at promise youth is a youth that, um, you know, they're in a financially distressed situation. They have one or no parent family unit. Uh, they go to a Title I school, which means at least 51% of the students receive, um, you know, lunch, um, lunch cards. And so <clears throat> when the kids come to Day at the Beach or they're actually in our classrooms, the at-risk can change. Because on top of that, there's abuse and there's um, gang-related kids with family members that are uh, in jail, there's so many different at risk on top of what our at risk is. So, um, when you either adopt a child for the day or you're teaching in the classroom, there's all different types of, of youth that we serve that are in that classroom or that come to Day at the Beach. All right. So, so. now you're looking for instructors or people who are willing to come into the schools and uh, uh, what are you asking them to do? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. So for um, 23 years before there was a space in education for social emotional learning, which is now called SEL, um, we have programs or 12 week programs that we teach during class time. And we have about five of them, but there's only two that we're working with right now. One is called Love for Life, mm -hmm. which is um, a social emotional mental health class and then the other one is our yoga one two three program where it's more mind body and so we have training programs or workshops that are three to four hours well you'll come in and you will go through a training program and you'll get a manual for each class so it's an instructor manual our classes are very very easy to teach and easy to learn it's a 10-step process it starts with a breathing kind of a meditation which 23 years ago, you couldn't say meditation. You couldn't say like yoga in the classroom because that was sure, religious. Sure. But now it's all more open-minded, right? So you do breathing, you do meditation. Then we have mood cards that the kids take out and they identify how they feel and they talk about that. And um, yeah, here's well, here's I even one. actually have some of these mood cards here. And uh, all the kids get these, right? All the kids get them. Yeah, they've got words on them loving, happy, excited. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite one on here is like lonely or mad, right? Because, or stressed out. Because what happens is they'll put the card down and it, it'll say, say it says lonely. And I'll look at her, the instructor will look at it and they'll pick it up and they'll go, oh my gosh, you feel lonely. 
you know, I'm so sorry you feel lonely, Kathleen. How many people have ever felt lonely before? Okay. And then people read all the kids in the class start raising their hand. And I say, Kathleen, look around. And now all of a sudden Kathleen looks around and then I say, oh my gosh, you're not alone. Right. And guess what? You could be 50 years old in the middle of a party with all your family around you and you're going to feel lonely. It doesn't go away. Right. And we feel lonely because, and the class learns to say, we're human. Right. Now you have, so the step process, just to understand this, is there's a, you, the, you do the meditation, then you do the mood cards, then what happens then? Then they share how they feel. Share, uh-huh. And then we do what's called the mantra. And ah. it's a confidence building where we call two students up to the front of the class. It is, this is the most uncomfortable class. And what happens is the students actually get comfortable being uncomfortable. They get called out. They have to participate. So two, two people, you and I come in front of the class yeah. and we learn how to public speak. And it's petrifying. You know, they learn what is the second scariest thing besides dying in all the pools in all the world. And the kids learn and they say, public speaking. So they tighten their talons, they tighten their toes, they put all their nervous energy into their toes, they stand up straight, they take a deep breath, they smile, they talk with their eyes, and they address the class with a smile. And so the class goes one, two, three, action, and then they have to stand up and they say the mantra. And so they'll look at the mantra in the book and they'll go, I'm courageous, confident, and in control. I know how to apply myself and accomplish my goal. Life is 10% what happens and 90% me. So I'll always take action to be the best I can be. And so everybody starts clapping. And then we do the, what did you think about that, Kathleen? Oh, my God, you did a really good job. What did you like about it? What do you think he or she could have done differently? So they learn to take critiquing. They learn to feel good about themselves that they got out there. Now, the shyest, quietest kids are the ones that want to get out there all the time. It's sure, amazing. So amazing. it's a very, very interesting way that breaks down the classroom because the coolest, hippest kid has to get up and do the same thing as the quietest child. It puts everybody on a safe platform to share and they don't make fun of each other now because they know they're going to be getting up there. Right. And so it really ends up being a way that the class teaches themselves. Right. Now, what's really, really great about this is, is that the instructors have this manual, uh, an instructor manual, but all the students do as well. And what I, I notice about it, if you wanted to teach this class, it's not difficult. She, it's all laid out, how much time to spend on each lesson. Each lesson is specific. One lesson's on resilience. Another lesson is on brain skills. Another one is on attitude, confidence. So all these, each week is a different topic and different lesson. And uh, I, I've done the class, and I got to tell you, uh, you do not have to be a teacher to do this. You just have to be an adult who wants to interact with kids and share. And it's just a beautiful experience. Now, if they sign up, do they have to sign up to do all the classes? That's a good question. And we could match you with somebody who's busy like you are, and maybe you do six of the classes and they do six of the classes. For example, um, my favorite ones to teach are gratitude and happiness. So you might pick six of your favorite with your partner instructor. And so that way, if you're a busy um, person, you can hook up with somebody, a friend or a colleague. And um, we started during COVID, we became very relevant and we put all of our classes online. And we worked with Bank of America, um, who we created a corporate employee mentor program where we taught them how to teach our program and they went online and they taught the Girl Scouts online and then we went to Textile Fashion Group and they taught like Hawthorne Middle School and After School All Stars online. So we could also find you a group of kids that want to do it online if you want to do it from home and you're not comfortable going in the classroom yet. Right. So you so. actually have a lot of opportunities here. You could do it by yourself. You could hook up with a friend. Uh, you could choose one of many sessions. Or you're, if you're a company, you could even uh, get your employees to kind of uh, sponsor this, and then your employees could kind of do this again as a community service project. So uh, this is amazing. Do they have to pay anything to do this? Instructors, no. No, so you're, you don't even have to pay anything. Uh, ideally, uh, a company might sponsor yes. a, a session of classes. And uh, again, this is something that 
is a wonderful opportunity and one I really encourage you to take a look at their website, psiloveyoufoundation.org. You'll find information there. Patricia is very available to talk with you. Uh, but this is don't miss an opportunity like this. This is such a wonderful way to give back. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about this program? I know you could, yeah, I mean, you'd love it so much that you could talk hours on it. But what, well, what do you want to leave us with today? Um, that you're powerful. And regardless of what you think your skills are, you get in front of a classroom um, as an employee or as a mom or a dad or a college student. These children will look up to you. They'll listen to you. Um, you will change their lives. Um, you will change yourself. I mean, truly, I wouldn't be doing this for 23 years if I wasn't getting something out of it. Um, every person who comes in and teaches learns so much about themselves. These are topics that need to be talked about. And because parents are overwhelmed with keeping up with the Joneses and teachers are overwhelmed with academics who are teaching the vital life skills to help us become the compassionate, loving human beings that we need to be to feel good about ourselves and to be able to have the most productive life that we can. And um, social emotional health is moving forward. These classes are gonna become bigger. Um, there's more money being funded to get these during class time. So we need people like you to get this done. And like Dan Siegel, who's really one of the um, head people who's been involved in social emotional health for a very long time, you cannot overemphasize the fact that besides the six hardwired emotions, fear, anger, disgust, sadness, surprise, and joy, every single emotion that you've ever felt in your lifetime, besides those six, need to be taught. Compassion, empathy, forgiveness, confidence, love, humility, all of these emotions need to be taught and we need to come together and we need to start teaching our kids this so they put down their phones, they look each other in the eye, we start communicating again. There's less guns, there's less violence, there's more inclusion, and there's more love because right. that's what it's all about. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I hope you realize that Patricia is a wonderful asset to our community. Uh, she's been doing this for a lot of years. You can hear in her what she shared with us today, your passion, your love of this. She models this in her own life. And we so appreciate your taking time because I know you're busy, two kids, three dogs, uh, doing <laughs> PSI Love You for yeah. being with us today. So thank, thank you, thank Patricia. You. And, and check you. out the website, psiloveyoufoundation.org. Sign up for Day at the Beach or sign up to find out more about being an instructor. Thank you very much. Thanks so much.